Mississippi Outdoors is sponsored in part by Vans Deer Processing and Sporting Goods. Riding through the bayou, headed for the sky blue, back out on the trail again and again. Hiking and hunting and fishing the land, time is time we'll spend. We'll take it to the Delta. Welcome to Mississippi Outdoors. I'm Amanda Mills. And I'm Kevin Meacham. Thanks for joining us. In our first story, we head to Itala County. We're going rabbit hunting. Release the hounds. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're in Atala County this morning with a group of guys at Muscle White Deer Camp. But we're gonna chase rabbits. So it's in the what middle of January? Yeah, yeah it is middle of January. So it's still deer season, but we're going rabbit hunting this morning and uh, I think these guys are pretty serious. They got about ten dogs and uh, they're dressed right for rabbit hunting. So let's go get well, a let's rabbit. Get after it. I'm ready. Release the hounds! <laughs> Most of the time y'all won't have to be in the priors down here because it's it, it's we got a lot of lanes and uh, John Allen is the main and I are the main jump dogs we'll be in the briars but now whenever we take people rabbit hunting and we've got a lane and the dogs are running over here everybody wants to get on this side of the lane so they can see don't do that get on this side of the lane because the other guy down there he can get on that side of the lane and when that rabbit comes out about 100 miles an hour you can shoot there you go <laughs> Woo! come on here there's two things that I love to hear in the woods, and it's a turkey gobble on a cold, crisp spring morning, and it's the sound of a, a pack of about seven to 10 beagles getting after a rabbit in January or February. Hey, he, he just went that way. He was huge. Yeah. Yeah, rabbit down. It's my buddy Kevin, not really buddy. He tries to hog all the animals every time we go anywhere hunting. He's not a great shot, but we gotta give him a chance. That's a good one. First rabbit of the morning. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than that, boy. All right. I like that, that dog music. That's, I, I'm a music lover, but it's a dog music lover, you know? <laughs> That scared me. <laughs> Did you get him? Under my feet. <laughs> when you go deer hunting, you have to smell good, you have to have the wind right. Out here, you run around, you hoop and holler, and, and, and when, when somebody misses something, shoot. Man, that's, we like somebody to miss more than we do kill, you know? I know, I seen the dirt kick up on him. That's why I didn't know if he, he was hit or not. Yeah. That's a. He was right behind him. <laughs> you know, deer hunting's fun, but it's something about it. This is probably the most favorite little animal, you know, that, that there is small game to hunt. And uh, it's just, you you know, you don't have to be so serious as deer hunt. You can carry on conversations and, and stuff like that and chat. And I work on the pipeline, so I've been gone in Pennsylvania all year. It's the first time back home in a year. So I get to come hang out with family and friends and and things, you know, like that, and just being being in the nature, you know, outside. About right here, we'll make it get them. They're in a ditch. They crossed that ditch out there. A lot of times they go circle like the green field out here, and they circle back in there. You kill that first one, Kevin? Yes, sir. 
got it, you got it. Did you get him on film? <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't know if I got him, I think I got him. Behold the heart of returning. And in his bag, he holds the moon and stars. <laughs> That's a fat rabbit. <laughs> did you miss him all that much? No. Who did I miss him? I don't know who that one was. I think Kevin was. Somebody, I shot the first time when he come through them briars. And I seen him in the briars, and I shot the way he went. And the dog was coming down there. He yeah. done that dog right there. hot. I, he, he's supposed to go. Well, like I told Amanda this morning, deer hunting, you have to get up before daylight. You have to uh, get out, be, be still, and be, and be quiet. Rabbit hunting, you get up and have a nice breakfast. You get out and you meet your friends and you hoot and you holler. You walk around, you joke, and make all the noise you want to. It's just completely diametrically opposite. Both, both are, are enjoyable, both have their places. But, but rabbit hunting is very unique. Creek. Uh, Big old creek up here. Yeah, that, that's usually going to be it. And these dogs don't usually cross that creek. We've had dogs across Big Black River, uh, old, old uh, Mississippi River chute. But these dogs, thank the Lord, when they get to a big creek, they don't want to cross it. Did you get him? He go. Are you going to go get him? I hold your gun. No. If you stay below the briars, I'll get you. <laughs> Too tall. <laughs> That's a big rabbit. Will the dogs bring him to you? I ain't now here holding this. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> Good job. There's all your clothes in there. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Look at that one he's carrying. Good job, good job. What he smells like? Was he, where was he running? I was under about a food plot. Did he come out on the food plot? No, right on the edge of it. Okay, just poked his head out, won't go back. Hey, if he crosses that plot, he's gonna cross that big creek. And uh, these are bad rabbits. Mm -hmm. Good rabbits. Dr. Jones is a uh, man. I can I can remember the day that he used to uh, he used to be right up there with Bubba and my dad, John Allen, uh, right with him. But now he uh, you can tell he loves it so much that he won't give up. Yeah, I turn you loose and <laughs> look what you do. We won't be able to let y'all bring a shotgun. Y'all kill all the rabbits. Yeah, he's a, he's a rabbit legend all over the state of Mississippi. He's been definitely a mentor to us, uh, teaching us from kids up. Uh, we ain't got to hunt with him as much, working and stuff like that, but the t opportunities that we have had with him uh, in the woods has been an excellent experience. All right, we gotta get her a shot. I'm gonna hunt real hard from now on to get her a shot. I was standing right beside her, so she was in the game. No, uh-uh, that was my shot, and you went ahead and shot. All right, look, John Allen, you think one more out of here is going to hit this pack? Let's go down through the middle, middle of this one and go to the All right. other side. If they get to run in here, y'all, they bad about crossing right there in that flat. Oh, somebody needs to get down he's, there he's on, on, before you get to Stephen's ditch. He's back in there. He's coming in here. He's yeah. going in there. We're going to start, we'll start around. We're going to come back. We're going to get in there. Bottom down there. Peace. But we always jump right in here. Uh-huh. Jump one. Good job. Technically, that's my rabbit. Oh, I got third shot's charm. Got him. Where do you come out of? Right here? Yeah. Chicken all three of them. That was all well, you, you got on camera though, huh? Yeah, yeah. Kevin, this was a fun uh, rabbit hunt. I enjoyed it. G good group of people. Oh, and great dogs. That's what makes a rabbit hunt is yeah. the dogs. So they were hot all morning. And you even shot a rabbit there at the end, didn't you? I did. We closed out with me. 
That's what I'm talking about. It only took you know four or five hours, but hey, but I got it done. Point blank range. That's why I like them. <laughs> I mean, right here in Atala County, these guys um, they rabbit hunt a lot. They said they'd be here next weekend to, to do it again. So um, they got it set up good too. Had a lot of cut over, a lot of lanes cut through the the, the cut over, and then roads, plenty of roads to walk down. So and then Miss Sue fed us. I know. So you can't beat it. Nothing like Mississippi outdoors. That's right. In our next story, I joined a group of ladies at Turcotte Shooting Facility in Madison County. Then the outdoors crew is going to Bay Springs Lake for some crappie fishing. special today on Mississippi Outdoors. We have a group of women, grits, girls really into shooting today with us here at Turcotte Shooting Range. We're going to shoot rifles, pistols, and sporting clays. I hear some of them are really good shots, so let's see what they're all about. We're all members out at Providence, and that's where we basically practice yes, sporting clays. But we shoot, shoot a lot of uh, charity events. Oh, good. So when someone calls, they know one out of all them, you know, three or four of us will show up. She called and she said, I really want you women to come shoot. She said, it doesn't matter what your politics are, I don't care, I just need women. And so there was a group of men came walking up and they just kind of looked around, kind of sniggered, and one of them said, we got this. And we all kind of sniggered and said, we'll see. <laughs> That's what grits is all about. It's not about how many clays you break, so we don't keep a scorecard. It's about the fun. So it's basically, you know, why we get together probably once a month. And like I said, we uh, try to utilize our statewide places like Turcotte here today and MacGyver. We haven't been down to McHenry yet, but hope to get down there soon. We're fortunate that um, Providence Hill Farm Sporting Club, um, they kind of host our events once a month because they see grits as a growing trend you know, women in shotgun sports, and uh, they want to encourage the trend in Mississippi. So that's why we get together and have fun. We do. <laughs> we do. Cool. That's dead of hair. OK. Step right up, Jimbo. <laughs> I think they want a rabbit next. <laughs> yeah, they like rabbit. Yeah, they like rabbit. Like rabbit. Pull. My husband has always been involved in skeet shooting and sporting clay shooting, so therefore I tagged along. I started shooting after I retired from 32 years of teaching. It's been fun. It's something you can experience with your husband and go out and have a good time in the open outdoors. So we're at station eight. It's a rabbit, as you can see. You know, it's a hard one. They are amazingly good, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Oh. 
Your gun is just absolutely beautiful. So can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, um, my gun is a siren gun uh, made by a gun company that saw the marketing opportunity uh, to make a gun, especially for a woman. So it is manufactured to fit properly in a woman's pocket. It's not as long, our wingspan of our arms is not as long as a man. And to be able to shoot correctly, you've got to have a you know, proper gun fit. And so this is manufactured by Siren, which is owned by Cesar Guarini. And June has a beautiful gun manufactured by Craigoff. We encourage all women, first of all, to get fitted. And once you're fitted properly, to go out there and focus on manufacturers that make guns just for women. Well, I've only been shooting for just a little bit over a year. And we joined a club. I met some women that really became friends with and they convinced me I needed to join GRITS, which is a great organization and I've learned a lot. They're so helpful, nobody's ever competitive. It's just a lot of friends getting out there and just having a really good time and I've really, truly enjoyed it and I will continue to do it just as long as I can. I've been shooting a rifle for over 20 years, but the shotgunning and upland sports um, are all new to me and I'm really enjoying it. So hunting for me has started from deer hunting and now it's just evolved into duck hunting and pheasant hunting and I've got a dog now. So it's just brought a lot to my life and I've, I've really enjoyed all of it. It it's, seems to me like it's shooting a little bit high. Oh, it was a little high. I got into shooting just by coincidence. I didn't grow up shooting. I've only been shooting about five years. I hunt and I also shoot pistol. Um, and if you're interested in shooting pistol, you need to get trained and you need to find somebody to fit you with a gun. I've been shooting with the GRITS chapter since we opened it, and it is just a great group of people. We have so much fun. We were all, we all started with no knowledge, and when somebody comes out and they haven't done it, we're all very supported, because we've all been there. This is one of the state's three state-of-the-art shooting facilities that we offer. We have shooting facilities in North Mississippi and Sardis. We have Turcot Shooter Facility in Canton, Mississippi, and we have McHenry Shooting Facility in Perkinson, Mississippi. We have everything from rifle, pistol, shotgun, uh, archery ranges. You can really hone your abilities at any of our three shooting facilities in the state. Uh, boy, I've turkey. Yeah, I've turkey. I've been hunting and shooting all my life, practically. I've been all over the world and have really enjoyed it. When I got to Providence, there was a group of ladies out there that were interested a little bit shy, but they were interested in learning how. And we started out just throwing targets. In fact, every one of these down here, I'd take to the trap field and just throw targets. And we've gotten to be more like sisters than we are just shooting buddies. And it's been really fun. We travel the world together. They've come a long way. So I want to encourage ladies, if you're interested in shooting, and just to learn how, this would be the place to come. It's called Turcot, and it would be really fun, and I think you'd like it too. Every so often, something comes along in the fishing world that folks call a game changer. And for the last two years, all we've heard about in the crappie fishing world, particularly, is live scope, live sonar. Most people talk about it like it's a video game, video game fishing. It's late fall, the crappie have moved offshore, and we're going to see if this live sonar really is a game changer in catching a bunch of crappie today. Hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> Who 
kitchen with us today is my good friend Rick Houston. Rick, appreciate you having us out. Uh, talk a little, about, a little bit about where we're fishing and what we're going to be doing today. We're fishing on Bay Springs Lake. Uh, the water temp is about 52 degrees. Uh, air temperature is 34, 35 <laughs> degrees. It's pretty cool out this morning, but the, uh, the crappie are on the main lake brush pile. So today we're going to be jigging, long poling for these crappie that's out on the main lake. And hopefully we'll be able to use the, the live sonar, the live scope to actually see the fish, drop jigs down to them, and catch, see them hit our bait and catch them. We'll definitely be able to. So it sort of is like video game it fishing. Is, it's just like playing a video game. Well, let's get after it. I'm excited. So we've, we've, we've got some crappie located. We can see them actually swimming on the screen. We can see them on a traditional sonar. We know what depth they are. We know how far they are from the boat. We just got to make them bite. It's the dark red stuff at the bottom. Uh-uh, right here. That's crappie. About the third drop. So uh, hopefully we'll get on some, some better fish. But not, not a bad start. The wind's giving us a little trouble, but we'll get lined up here and hopefully uh, find them again. And Rick will show me how to catch one. May not be deep enough. I notice you're uh, letting out a lot more line. Oh, that's that a, is not a crop. That's a spotted bass, I guarantee it. Or a stripe. You've been catching any stripe. <laughs> Spot? Yeah, or largemouth. Huh? Spot. That's bonus, folks. We, we're out here trying to catch crappie, and I guess we need to be doing a bass show. Well, that's a target species. <laughs> that is uh, the target species. We've caught drum, we've caught a spotted bass, a couple of undersized crappie. Right now, <laughs> Regardless of what you're using to try to catch fish, they still have to bite. So hopefully, uh, as it warms up a little bit, uh, maybe the bite will pick up a little. Yep, there I am. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go, come on now. Obviously, the goal today is to try to hit as many of these uh, offshore brush piles as we can to try to find some active fish. You know, Bay Springs Lake is located in the extreme part of northeast Mississippi. Uh, it's only about 5,000 acres, but it's the deepest lake in the state. It's the clearest lake in the state and uh, starts the, the beginning of the Ten Tom Waterway. Mm -hmm. Is that a white crappie? I believe it is. Or, or a combination. Catch the uh, the smaller the smaller ones. First drop, saw my jig going down. Saw the fish swim up to it. He was on there. Sending her back down. Let her sit there for a minute. There he is. See the fish coming up. <laughs> it's video game fishing. Drop your jig down, watch the fish hit, watch it come up the screen. Better fish. We don't need to net it coming in. Thank you. Oh, I didn't know you had your hands full, Rick. <laughs> ah, better fish there, finally. Another one on. Hey folks, the winds made it tough on us, but we're able to finally get on some nicer fish. We've caught a lot of little fish today. Live sonar, live scope, it's the, the, the real deal, the game changer. We talked about it earlier. Big shout out to Rick for having us today. 
We had a great day and uh, looking forward to uh, trying to get out and do some more of this. Oh, we hit it. <laughs> hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for sharing your time with us as we continue taking part in this great sport of hunting and fishing in Mississippi. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Amanda Mills. And I'm Kevin Meacham. See, See you outdoors. outdoors. Time is time well spent